All right, Josh here, and welcome to the second episode of our VGC 2018 Battlespot Live series. In the last episode, we went 2-0, so that's pretty good. I've not played online since, so we're still 2-0 with this team, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can find someone to play in today. Hopefully get two battles in, for sure get two battles in. Maybe three, I don't know, we'll see. It depends how long we take and how fast we find an opponent. I'm playing at a bit of a weird time, so I don't know. Should put some different music on as well this time. Kalos Legend. Oh my goodness. Oh, from somewhere with 1700. Okay, so we're a tad scared. We're a tad scared, but we'll be fine. We got Katana, Charizard, Cresselia, Landorus, Snorlax, and Topicago. Okay. I'm so worried about. Um, I'll ice switch. <laughs> I'll ice switch, that's the one. Okay, well, let's think he's good here. I'm actually going to go Charizard Landorus. <sighs> I think because I can knock off the Cresselia or the Snorlax. I'm going to threaten Coco straight away. Do I need to bring Tyrantar? I think we need to bring Tyrantar as well. And last, Lele? Yep. Sorry, Latios, again. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this matchup. It's a bit weird. Oh, the music's kind of good. Anyway, because uh, I'm a bit scared of that Cresselia ally switching Snorlax. That's why I didn't want to bring Aegis Slash and rinse a Z-move. Tapu Coco's a bit of a problem for my team as well, so... We'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Charge out Tapu Coco, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> my opponent could bring in the villain Landorus. Okay, my choice on protecting is super obvious here, but I think I have to play it safe and actually go for it. I'm just going to go for Rock Slide. Really obvious play. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of have to. I can't risk losing Charizard turn one. Also, just randomly in the last episode, my Lele lived a overheat from a Charizard, and I thought that was maybe a wrong, but it was actually my Lele lives out 100% of the time. Modest max special attack Charizard Y in Sun will live an overheat. That's some decent book. Anyway, I don't know what to expect here. My opponent withdraws Charizard, probably into Landorus. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get a bit of chip damage on both. Obviously not as much now we're intimidated. Which I'm not so sure about this music is a bit. We'll put something different on next time. Anyway, okay, so that's my Mega Charizard. I'm expecting just to see a Thunderbolt into the Charizard slot to be honest. Could be could go Electrium Z, that'll be kinda of bad, because we would lose. We would lose uh, you know a decent amount of health to that. Yeah, it is all I can do. So I'd expect to lose about. Yep. Giga Hulk Havoc. I know you play that. Oh. That was a crit. I was going to say that was. I was gonna say that was an insane amount of damage, but that was cool. That's just not enough damage on the crow though. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch into Lele. I'm gonna knock off that Landorus just in case. It's like something like Trace Scribe. What did it go for? Oh no, the Landorus switched in, just in case like Trace Scarf or something. That'd be kind of annoying. So my Lele comes in. It is Choice Scarf. Okay, so if we don't flinch, we get we at least knock off the Choice Scarf. Coco goes for full switch into the yeah, into it looks fine. I'm gonna get rid of that Choice Scarf. Would uh Chow Cycle back in?
Okay. Do I need Lily? We don't know who the last Pokemon is. I'm gonna switch uh, Tyranitar in here. And. Oh! Just protect. I think I'm gonna see it overheat straight into Lily. Obviously, if that's Charizard, why this one will be reset again, but that's okay. I mean, I could have brought my own Charizard then, but I kind of, well, I kind of want it just in case it's something. Actually, do we really need Charizard? I think maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Talon has better. Overheat. Oh boy. Just heat wave. Okay. Don't burn me. Don't burn me, please. Don't burn me, please. Okay, just rock. <clears throat> okay, my opponent does not know it. I'm Trace Scarf. So I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna Ice Punch the Landorus. And Rock Slide. Charizard probably protects here. Just, just in case that... Because they might be scared that obviously mine is a choice scarf, which is, you know, which is true. So, like I say, so hopefully we, we should take out Landris with this, but I do need to save Tyranitar. But if the Charizard attacks Tyranitar and Landris gets a rock slide off, even at Neg 1, that should KO. He's four times in a single target. Oh, Charizard doesn't. That's a dead Landris. Okay, this isn't the worst turn ever. Heat waves again. Oh, we both live that. Yep. It's a dead Charizard. Okay. Okay. So we're going to see what the last Pokemon is. The problem is now we've got Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko's a problem. It's Snorlax. Oh, God. How do we beat Tapu Koko? Oi! I'm just gonna try and ice punch. I really need to knock off. Oh, no, wait, I need to think. The problem is, my Pokemon in the back are solo. Like, my opponent can just KO both. Maybe not. Wait. I'm just gonna go for. I just to save. Uh, well, I'm locked into Ice Punch, so we'll just get some damage off on Coco. And I'm gonna bring in. I'm just gonna bring in Charizard and let it go down. This is really tough, guys. Yeah, that's not good. I like Tyranitar. Charizard actually lives. Oh, I was just going for curse. Okay. <laughs> Do I bring in Lily or Landry? I really have to get rid of that cold cold. I need to go for spread damage. I think Charizard protecting is super obvious and he might just go for Lele, so I'm just going to attack with both. Like, I've got to make like a big play to kind of win this, so I, I really have to just go for it. I really have to go for it. It's so easy to knock out Charizard. Coco protects, actually. You might try and knock out, um... Burn, 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 burn! It's not the rap, you know. Some good damage, actually. No fear, Snorlax is going to go into a Lele though, which is kind of annoying. Very, yep. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to beat this. This is really hard to beat. 
Lele's gonna go down. The Legends Lele. Bye, Lele. <sighs> okay. Well, my opponent has a kind of safe play of just uh, Heat Wave, um, of Dazzling Gleam and Double Edge. And there's not really much I can do about that. So it's game. Unless I could get a crazy crit on something. Ah, it's game now. Nah. Yeah, it doesn't really. I'm going to take out. Joyzard actually lives that somehow. But it doesn't matter because Snarts is just going to take us out. There's no way I can stop it. Unless. No. It's game. Oh well. GG. I don't really like how I played that at all, actually. I think it was just completely wrong. I was too scared of that ally switch and stuff. <sighs> that was a weird game. That was a weird game. So it got done there. Never mind. Never mind. That, honestly, like, Tapu Koko is just, like, such a big problem for my team because it's so fast and it just threatens the Oko and Charizard. And if he's got Hidden Power Ice as well, that's a problem. You know, it's just because it's so fast, it's so scary. So we do get our first uh, first loss. So we're gonna we're, we're going to the next game. That was weird. I, I t to be honest, I'll, I'll probably do like in the last video, I did like a post game analysis that we can I'll do again. I should have maybe been a bit more aggressive with Landorus and trying to try and knock out that type of Coco. Maybe I should have brought Latios for a tail, and that, that was something else. Latios deals really well with Tapu Koko, actually. If I see Tapu Koko from now, I'm, I'm actually going to bring Latios. Because we can Tailwind, and then Sidekick it. I think that's a good idea. Okay, from now on, if we see Tapu Koko, Latios is coming. So, yeah, that, that wasn't the best. I really want that that, that song the, with the... No. No. I don't have it. No, I don't want Battle Royale. Well, we're stuck with it now. Okay, so High Dragon, Megos, Zapdos, Lily, Tyranitar, and... Landorus. Okay, this is scary. So finally going up against the Megros. I hate playing that thing. Um, High Dragon's bad. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be Mega Megros, probably. More, but more than likely, could be a double mega team, but I, I'd, I'd imagine it's probably and also probably like Darkinium Z, Darkinium Z, High Dragon, Berry Seed, um, Psychic Seed, Zapdos. Okay, who do I need here? I definitely need Landorus in the back. I need to threaten that Metagross straight away, so I'm gonna go Charizard Aegislash. Slash. This seems a bit silly, but trust me. Trust me. I I need to run into because we can outspeed we outspeed the mega me, ugh, mega mega girls which is basically what I have it for and Landorus or Lele Lele's really good Lele's okay here but mega girls is such a threat I'm gonna go Lele this seems a bit crazy but I'm gonna go Lele. Because Lele, Lele's just the honestly the choice specs Lele just hits so hard. I mean, I just, I just, I might need it. I really might need it. Worst lead, Zapdos Megos. I hate that lead. I really struggle against it. Ugh, I really struggle against that lead. It's gonna be, it's gonna be Zapdos Megos. I know it is. Oh, it's tapping Lele Megos. Okay, that's actually kind of good. So. So, so, so. Usually, in this kind of scenario, my opponent would. I see opponents go in. Such a Japanese player. Um, like, protect Metagross and Psychic into Charizard. With Lily. So, I'm actually going to protect Charizard. And. Does this Shadow Ball knock out Lily? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna never end a nightmare, clearly. Really. 
And then if... <sighs> yeah. And then next turn... If Mega Ghost Mega Evolves anyway, then next turn I will bring in... I'll bring in Landorus. See, Mega Ghost will outspeed Charizard, that's the a, that's a problem. It's such a shame that Charizard Y isn't like faster, like... Just, okay, it does Mega Evolve, that's actually really good. I'd imagine we'd see a Protect. Or maybe Stomping Trantrum, but we leave that. So that's okay. Okay, so Charizard Protect. Okay, so no Protect from Mega Evolve, okay. Interesting. Double slash. You bulky thing! You are the bulkiest thing! Oh, yes! Wait, did I bring Landorus this game? I didn't bring Landorus! No! Actually, that's so bad, I should have brought Landorus. I'm just thinking I didn't bring Landorus. That's actually horrendous. I'm honestly, that's really bad. I actually really need Landorus. Because I don't want to have to stall out terrain. That's that's an awful idea. Okay, bye bye, Lonely. I should have gone for Megaros. But I honestly thought, because it's like, a, like I've got two Pokemon threatening it, that it would protect. But. Wait, that was a choice scarf, Lele. Okay, well, that's actually really good that we got rid of that, to be honest, because that thing is. Uh... Okay, who's. My opponent brings in Zapdos. Okay. The problem is here, my opponent can just get a double knockout quite safely. You know what? I'm actually gonna play super risky. I'm gonna I'm gonna go like all in. Wait, I could lose both Pokemon to this, but I've really I'm feeling crazy. There's so many man games. I'm scared to look. This is crazy. Oh, bye bye, bye bye, Charizard. And you're just gonna Thunderbolt? Are you gonna? Actually, that's really good. I was see that was the thing. I like if Zapdos if Zapdos Thunderbolted me. Like Aegis Slash going back into Blade Form is so obvious. That's a dead mag by the way. Aegis Slash going back into Blade Form is so obvious. But if he, if uh, my opponent doubled into me, then that would have been super, super bad. I actually need to save. What was my opponent's team? I want to bring in Tyrone as well. The thing is, the main threat to Lele is gone now. It's Landorus. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Because. Unless you've got Groundium Z. I'm in a pretty good spot. I can just wide guard. Wide guard's really up so as well. We're gonna ice to Landorus. And <sighs> if you're Groundium Z, you can just T bolt. Groundium Z. I have to wide guard. I I actually have to because if it just earthquakes then I'm I'm screwed. <laughs> My opponent just goes earthquake, I'm screwed. If not, we're in an alright position. Oh, it's ground Z. It's so hard. yeah, I mean Landris is just there's just too many options for Landris. It's it's such a tough Pokemon to play against. You got A V, Ground Z, Flying Z. Saw a life orb one the other day. Oh, that's dead. Like I really needed to bring Landorus this game. When I did. Oh, yeah, that's game one. That's game. Play late into the world. Oh, yeah. Today's not my day. I should have brought Landorus. I don't know why I didn't bring Landorus. This is what I mean. Like this team, for for my team, is, is so hard to play against because I have to waste so many resources just getting rid of Metagross. It's, it's it's a nightmare. Maybe I didn't play per perfect, but oh yeah. 
Yeah, you can just safely EQ here. Should not, well, maybe it will not be done to be honest with Max attack. Do you know it's half? Double into me. We should lose that as well. Okay, bye bye Landorus. Does a Tailwind go this turn? No, that's then that's game. Okay, well that's game. Ah, now we'll, we'll, we'll play it out anyway. Just in case my opponent... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Messes up somehow, but I doubt it. All they have to do is click from the boat, yeah. Oi! That Mega team is so hard to play against. There's like, it's just, I don't know. It's such a shame because my... It's, it's annoying because first turn we could have just knocked out the Mergos. But I was, I was convinced it was going to protect. Like when it's staring down a Charizard and... The, the main problem is that my Charizard can't live a Zen Headbutt in the terrain. And I should have brought Landorus. That was the biggest mistake there. Should have brought Landorus. Okay, so as okay, so a note for the future, ladies and gentlemen. When we see, um, okay, so we've learned two things so far. When we see Tapu Koko, we bring Latios, and when we see Mega Megos, we bring Landorus. That was silly. I should have brought Landorus. Okay, so we're now two and two, which is a bit of a shame. Double losses. Oh my god. Oh, that's really bad. We're gonna get another game in though. We'll get game three in. Man, that meta, me, 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 I always want to say meta, 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 mecha, 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 oh, mega, meta grows. It's really hard to play against. We're up against 1449 opponent from Japan. With. <laughs> interesting. Raichu, Tapu Koko, Garchomp. This is like a VGC 17 team. But it could be mega, mega grows. It could be mega Garchomp. Okay, so obviously, Raichu gets fake out pressure with Coco. Um, I obviously need to bring Landorus. We've, we've decided that, that that's important to bring. I don't want Raichu going for any terrain shenanigans, so I'm actually going to lead Lele Landorus. Just in case. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. Lele. Lele Tyranitar, maybe? Actually, kind of like Lele Tyranitar. I need to bring Charizard. If my opponent. Wait, if my opponent leads. Wait, if my opponent leads Mega Ghost Lele, I'm in trouble again. So I might have to go with Zard. A slash. Lele. Oh, I really want to bring Tyranitar. Wait. Oh, yeah. But I need... oh. I'm actually going to bring Tyranitar. I know I just made a rule of always bring Landorus, but the problem is, Landorus just gets knocked out by. Um, destroyed by Ninetales. If my opponent bring nine t it brings Ninetales, it's just such a waste. Such a waste. This is so. Oh, I need... Maybe, maybe one thing for this team is a better answer to. Uh... See, my opponent did go nine tails up with Coco. Well, that's actually kind of good. Ish. Question. 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 Does my Charizard die to a Thunderbolt? Not in terrain. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to... Hmm. Well, I don't want a Raw Veil going up, so... I'm going to Mega Veil Protect. And I'm going to just go for Ghost and Z on the Coco. I just want to get that thing out of here. I need to get that thing gone. That thing needs to go, go. Power Rangers. Nine Tails is not a threat. Whatever he goes for, not bothered. Apart from Encore, that could be bad, but we can... We're, I'm going to switch Charizard out this turn anyway. After this turn, I think. Well, depends actually. My opponent's not going to get a Roar Veil up, so, so that's super good, because I see... So Ninetales switches out, yep, that makes sense. And Garchomp comes in, okay. Okay. 
How do we dodge them? We have got wide guards, so that's pretty good. Could be ground EMZ. Which would be bad for Aegis Lash. Okay, so Coco's not protecting, so it should drop to Aegis EMZ. Actually goes for the Z move. So many Electrum Z Cocos. So many, honestly, so many. Oh, we had two games of that. And I didn't bring Latios either. This, this, that is one thing. Maybe I need, uh, maybe I need something like that more bringable every time than, than Latios to for. Uh... Yeah, see that oh, it still does over half. That's insane. Okay, so it's good. Job. I didn't just wing it with. Uh... Okay, we are getting that Tapu Koko out there though. Out of there. We, we don't want that. We don't want that in. But who do I bring in next? <sighs> if my opponent. Goes ground EMZ on Aegis Slash, like, that's bad. And what do I need Aegis Slash for? Potentially Metagross in the back. Oh, you need Metagross. Oh, well, there's Ninetales, Garchomp, Coco. Plus something. That's so much damage. Not that Tapu Coco is amazingly uh, bulky or anything. Okay, are you gonna bring Ninetales back in? You could. That won't surprise me, actually. Oh, that should be quite a good play. But if you do that, I'm going to bring Tarantar in. It's actually the Raichu! Huh. Well. Well, that's interesting, okay. Because you're not, you're not going to... Well, you're not ground DMC, Garchomp. Okay, I'm going to bring... Tar in here. The Raichu's super fast, which is bad. But what's it really going to do? We're just going to. I'm actually just going to wide guard, you know. Because that protects Tyrantar on the switch in. Worst case scenario, we take like a Dragon Claw or a T Ball. Probably take a T Ball. That's fine. But in terrain. That I do quite a lot. Because we're scarfed. You're not going to earthquake here. Pretty rock slides most. Electro roll. Oh dear god, that did a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, if that was a focus sash right you, we're in, we're in a good shape now. So I'm going to bring Tapu Lele and get rid of that. Raichu speed. And honestly, we're in good shape now. Garchomp can't do anything to Lele. It can EQ. But I'm going to Ice Punch it first. That'll kill it. We're not intimidated. I'm just going to Psychic the Raichu slot. Ugh, no, maybe not. But I have a feeling that the. Um, Ninetales might go in there. Or well, Garchomp switches out. Either way, that's a dead Raichu and that's a dead Garchomp. We should be faster. Unless it's Choice Scarf Garchomp. Yeah, you switch out. Okay. Ninetales. Well, Ice Punch is obviously not going to do it a, a lot, but that's okay. Mm hmm. Done. That did a. a, a, a sp oh, it was a crit. Electrobolt on. That's fine. We're bulky. Actually, we're not that bulky, but. That's dead right here. Okay. Bulky, okay. Well, we're fast. <sighs> Is that Choice Cough Garchomp? Is it Choice Cough Garchomp? I don't think an EQ would knock Tarantara out anyway. Maybe. Okay, we've got to go Ice Punch, and I'm actually going to bring in Charizard again. Need Lele. Actually, this is bad, because if you just Blizzard... Mm. This is tough, this is tough. 
opponent might read the guard uh, the chords are switching back in because obviously I really don't want a roll veil up, that'll give us some problems. I could have switched Tyranitar out. I just feel like, but if that's if that is choice guard guard chomp then then uh Actually, it's kind of, it'd be kind of good if it was Choice Scarf Garchan because it, if it EQ'd to try and knock out Tyranitar, his Nine Tails would have to protect. And it wouldn't hit Charizard, obviously. Oh, yeah. He sure is going to protect Garchan here. He does EQ. Okay, so can Tyranitar with this? Should be able to. Yeah. It's locked into EQ now. That's actually that's so good. I believe in your talent. Oh, time on it off. <laughs> I believed in you. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, Moonblast and Flamethrower. The good thing is, you are gonna. This uh, it shouldn't knock out Lele. Which, as long as Char Charizard should win, then yeah, it has to Earthquake. It has to Earthquake. It's so, it's so risky locking into. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage still. You went for the Blizzard. We live in. Don't freeze. Oh thank god. Okay, so that seals this one. Okay, so it did we want. Oh my god, that was kind of scary though. Okay, sorry, I had a bit of a technical issue there, but it was literally the end of the battle, so <clears throat> yeah, as you saw, Charizard hit uh, Nine Tails with a Flame Four, and then followed by Lele hitting the Guard Jump with a Moon Blast, since we lived the Earthquake, and that was game. Um, I don't know if you don't believe me, just <laughs> watch watch me click Moon Blast, and that was, that was the game. So, yeah, we finished three and two today. Um, well, as, as there was a little bit of a mess up, I took that time just to go on and uh, just go back and watch uh, Watch the games over so I can quickly do me me post analysis. So the first game, um, obviously we have a few problems the first two games. The last game, the last game I, I was fine. Maybe well, one thing, maybe I could have brought a Landorus, but I just felt it was a bit risky with the Nine Tails. I thought my opponent would bring would bring the Nine Tails, but getting rid of that Coco turn one and you know maybe maybe losing Lan um, Tyranitar to the Earthquake was maybe the bad thing, but I knew Lele would live it, so it, it, you know, it wasn't the worst thing ever, so we don't need to talk about game 3, but the first two, um, okay, first off, I think my lead was kind of bad, um, Coco is, like I said, a problem, because it's so fast, and it does a decent amount of damage to everything on my team, especially with that Z move, obviously Charizard is like my main, one of my main sweep, well, my main sweeper, and you know, Thunderbolt from Coco in the terrain just does will just KO. I'm, I'm not sure if it KOs out of terrain actually. I need to double check that because that could be that really important. And uh, obviously I was scared of Metagross too. Oh no, my, my opponent didn't have a Metagross first game. That was second game. It was Coco, Landorus I think I might have probably led with or something like that. I, I need to go back and watch it again. But um, yeah, so maybe I should have brought Latios would have been uh, would have been okay. But the thing is, by the time I knocked out the Coco and the Ch well, I think I, no, I, I, by the time I knocked out the Charizard and the Landorus, like, I was in, like, kind of a good spot-ish then, but the problem was, everyone was so low, like, I lost so much health on my Landorus. If, if we were in that spot and I had, like, a, I think I had, like, half of Lele's health, and if I had a full Landorus in the back, then I would have been in a good spot, but, because I'd taken so much damage already, um, yeah, we were just in a bad spot, really. Getting rid of the Lando Scarf, though, was really good, because then it, you know, it didn't surprise uh, anything on my team. So that was that was, that was was clutch, but... Yeah, Landris being too low was, was a big problem, because we could have just cle cleaned up at the end, really, knocked off the Snorlax. Um, maybe we could have led with Tyranitar or something, just, but, again, the, the Landris was true Scarf, but... Um, there was one turn that maybe could have done it a bit different, but... Um, the very last turn, um, no, the, maybe like the second or third to last turn, I had Lele and Charizard in, and it was against obviously the Snorlax and the Coco, and my opponent protected Tapu Coco. If I'd have gone Flame, if I'd have, I don't know, maybe if I, my maybe if I 
went for Heat Wave like I did, and it's, I shouldn't have gone for Dazzling Gleam on on Lele. I should have gone for I should have gone for a single target um, Psychic on the Snorlax because yeah. But at the same time, like it was risky either way because. So if that had happened, if I'd gone Heat Wave, it took Snorlax down to about sixty percent, and Psychic would have KO'd from there because it's specs and it just does a ridiculous amount in terrain. But the problem is, if Coco didn't protect, they could have just easily knocked out my Charizard. One thing I am considering is maybe Tailwind on Charizard, but it's kind of hard to find room. Definitely don't want to give it give up Protect, and Air Slash actually comes in handy quite a lot. So, yeah, maybe if I'd have read the if if I read the Coco Protect and doubled into Snorlax, well, we w we would have won that because Snorlax wouldn't wouldn't have KO'd Lele, and then Lele just cleans up. Or Charizard cleans up whichever Coco decides to go for because we both would live a dozen gleam. Anyway, that was the only turn, so it, that was, I mean, both to two games we lost today. I didn't realize that, they, you know, they came down to like the old, you know, the last couple of turns, like last couple of Pokemon, so it wasn't that bad. Okay, so that was that game. So yeah, maybe that one turn, but, you know, that's, that's a, it's a hard decision to make that, so I'm not that fussed. But um, the second game, Metagross being such a problem, I've gone through this before, that, that thing is a problem. The pro uh, One problem with it is that Tyranitar's Crunch doesn't KO it, even if I'm Trace Scarf. I mean, it, it doesn't... It's not a... Um, it's not an Oko, which is bad. Maybe because I'm because I'm timid, not Adamant. Maybe Adamant does, but anyway. I need that speed to outspeed anyway. But, um, so, Metagross not protecting on the first turn was really bad. Like, I was convinced that it was going to protect. But we did get rid of the Choice Scarf Lele, which is good, and we saved Charizard. But, so that was something I didn't count on. But we kind of made up for that by, you know, not protecting the next turn and, and KOing it with a Shadow Ball with Aegis Slash. So that was really good. Um, I actually think I really needed Landorus that game because losing Charizard to a Zen Headbutt was just terrible. Like, if, if we... If that that's if that second turn when Charizard went down, if I'd been able to switch into Landorus, I could have switched into. Um... Wait, did I bring? Why didn't I switch into Tyranitar? Why didn't I switch into Tyranitar? I don't know. Maybe that could. Well, maybe they brought in Landorus. I can't remember, but no, no, they didn't bring. They brought in Zapdos. Oh my god, I should have switched into Tyranitar. Okay, there we go. See. That was a mistake. That was a mistake we need to learn from. Um, yeah, I could have done with Landorus big time, though. Although I should have switched in Tyranitar. That, that's such a mistake. Okay, never mind. And then, yeah, Z Landorus was a, was a was a bit of a problem. I, you know, most Landoruses I've been seeing are Assault Vest, so, you know, I don't know. It's hard to decide what it is. I mean, we, didn't, we saw a Z Landorus and a Scarf Landorus today, so <laughs> that's different. Anyway, oh, well, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have switched into Tarantar that turn, and then we would have saved Charizard. I'm gonna have to, yeah, but Zapdos still threatened Charizard anyway, so... That, I mean, that came down to the end. I think not protecting Aegislash was a, was a good play, though, but... Yeah, overall, you know, maybe just a few things we could have changed about those first games. But maybe, maybe the first game, I I did get outplayed a lot. but And then the second game a bit as well, but... I think the second game maybe I could have won it if I'd have just made it maybe made that a couple more switches better or maybe made a few more decisions. Maybe like getting rid of Metagross turn one instead of Lele. Although it was a scarf Lele, so I don't know. Anyway, cheers for watching guys. Make sure you check out the next one which will be going up Friday and I'll see you all in a bit.